this is a public service. Hey, how you doing, brother? I'm doing all right. Good to see you again. Fist bump? Well, I don't know. Are you going to let me back on the property? As far as I know, the trespass warning still fit. But let me mm -hmm. check because I, let me. the reason I'm asking you is I was under the impression that after our initial meeting out here that day, they issued a trespass warning and you left. Perfect. My understanding was you got invited back by Social Security Administration staff. Is that accurate or no? Uh, I'm worried about the land's trespass because that's all that you can enforce. Right. Well, well that, I, I understand that, but if you're invited back to the property by them, and also, but, and that's what I'm trying to get to, is yeah. that if they invited you back, it, it kind of ha we have issues. So with, I, I guess I just need to hear you know it from you: is is the trespass still enforced from the land police department? Right now, yes. But yeah. that's what I need to find out: is if somebody here. Well, I encourage you to go read the rules, Lieutenant. I, I got you. I got you. Um, and I know that the last time you had your, I believe, it was. Uh, I did, and I, you know, I, I failed something. to point something out sure. that's in the in the lobby out there. There's the GSA rules that right. they're on the wall. Okay. Um, you know, I'd say, could I come in and show you? But I'm sure that he could go. He can, yeah. He, yeah, one of your other partners can. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I would just request at least for now that you stay where you are because that's that's he, the safe area. He said he was going to go hands on last time. Or? No, 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 no. That was Ruiz. Ruiz said he was going to go hands on. I don't know. He, he said it to him, I think. Yeah, he called you on the phone and said he was about to go hands on. It was on the body camera. Ruiz. Is that it? Sorry. So did, did Sergeant Ruiz call you the Are day you? that Stephen Sanders got arrested out here? You're talking about the two, the two that yes, were out sir. here? That's Rios. Rios. I'm sorry. Rios. R-I-O-Z. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, no, that dude, when you said Ruiz, I was like... Yeah, yeah I'm just hired. thinking ruins so, lives. I That's you, how I... I uh, just want to make sure we're all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those charges are already dropped. That's what, but that's what I was told. That's, that's it. what I was told. I mean, Does that, that trouble you? I don't have an opinion on that. That's not me. That's the state's attorney's yeah. office, and we don't, we don't, you know. Here's what I, I make their today. Decisions. I have a bone graft. I have uh -huh. a plate in my mouth right okay. now. I, I tried to go in there and report a uh, police officer in New Smyrna Beach cashing homeless people's Social Security checks. Okay. No fucking around. Right. They did a, I guess, a supervisor inquiry through blue, uh, blue team. So you, okay. Right. I don't even think they did an IA on it. And I was trying to find information. He's like, you can't, you got, I'm not going to serve you if you don't have a mask. I said, I can't. The bacteria could get there and fuck my bone uh, graph up. What do you, and, and again, I, yeah, excuse my ignorance, but. That's all right. Because um, you're saying something about New Smyrna. Yeah. Did you file a complaint or, or a case with New Smyrna? Yeah, said blue team, someone so I'm did. Assuming they, they did yes. some kind of documentation. Documentation is it. I think it's, I think it's a, a CFA violation to do stuff like that. You can't third party sign a check over. Well, so. That's what I came here to do. Right. He's like, you can't, you can't, okay. uh, you can't. I can't serve you of a mask. He walks away from his desk. You know, the, you know how they're concerned about privacy. I thought they wanted masks in here. They do want masks. Okay. But I, I can't wear one because you're, you're because medical. Of the thing. Yeah, metal thing. And that last guy right. had stage four lung cancer. He couldn't right. wear one. The lady walks back behind him. She mm -hmm. don't have a mask on. It's like down to here. And this is what's stupid about this. Is in the land arrests a lot of people and trespass people from the school board for the mask thing a while ago. Okay. I think you were in there. Uh, Hughes I'll, was there. I know that. Okay. But, uh, but. As the guy walks away from his desk, they're so concerned, uh, concerned about security. Mm -hmm. I have a pin next to me. I have the right. sheet that they print out for your number because I'm going in there to report that. Right. And in his trash can is all kinds of social security numbers right in his trash. And he walks away and leaves me for five minutes. It's like the treating the law abiding citizens like shit, violating people their rights. It's just something that's tyrannical. Cool. And I understand where you guys are coming from, at least to a degree. Yeah. Okay. Um, but understand, we don't see how I can say this delicately. Whatever practices and policies they have by Social Security office, that that's their stuff. We don't we don't cater to that. We don't enforce that. You and do enforce it though. We don't, and, and, and that's what I was telling you. And the same with the two gentlemen that were arrested for the uh, for the, ma the the mass thing. He was coming to get off of Social Security. Well, here's what it was: they weren't arrested because they weren't wearing masks. They were arrested because they they refused to leave the property after being told to leave. A direct responsible or direct direct relation to not wearing a mask. But again, and, and I understand where you're going. Okay, I, I do. Trust me. The problem, though, is, you know, you, you come into my, you come into my, my public, private. Yep. Understand. Well, you then you're, you're going to go on, but this is public property. This is not private property. Again, I'm not going to go down these rabbit holes. Well, this is an important right. rabbit hole to go down because there's yeah. a there's a clear distinction between public property and private property. That, and not to jump into, but I think sure. they even forced identification on those people and that's one of the reasons why they were going after them so hard is you can't identify someone to trespass when it's not allowed right trespass warning civil a absolutely and that's why the gentleman here was because again I'm, I'm sure you guys aren't gonna give me id whatever i don't you don't have to 
Okay. But those guys thought they did. But here's the thing. On that one, when it became from a, a civil matter, essentially tr trespass warning, then you get to it. now you're not leaving. Guess what? You're going to jail. We need now to identify. Well, the problem is on public property, you can't be told to leave public property unless you're breaking the law. That's true. Okay. Well, I'm not so going to debate I, and, it with But you. you're the officer. You you should know this. Why do I have to tell I, you this? I'm not going to. Like I told you the first time, I, I, we were talking. I'm I know. I know. But you're saying we're not going to debate this. But this is a very important point that needs to be resolved. How are you trespassing me from the property? What did I do wrong to get trespassed from the property? From the because on the first time you violated whatever. Okay. Well. I, they had and they yeah, to but I'm not. Me. I'm not obligated to follow the rules, sir. I'm obligated to follow the law. You're a law enforcement you. officer. Right. And they wanted you trespass, which which we we did under John Doe because you refused to comply and give us your, your information. Hey, fine. That's, that's not that's, refusing that's, to comply. It's just it's just well holding your uh, upholding your rights. To identify we yourself. Know you guys hey, are so be out here. We thought we joined you. All right, that's we were awesome. lonely up there. Good for you. Awesome. I'm assuming you're also not. I am awesome. How did you know that? That's my name, Major Lee Awesome. I ain't, I'm not lying. Look, Major Lee that's Awesome. My that's too. perfect. Yeah. I like it. That's pretty tight. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. That's Lieutenant, I just, I, I encourage you to just go in there and read the rules on the wall, the GSA rules. The rules are clearly so written on the wall. The, You're enforcing yeah, this yeah, trespass. A state law. A yeah, state but law. what did I do wrong to get trespass? Because when you violated their their policies or their rules i only have to follow the law in this public building and it, it's, it's an important distinction place, doesn't mean you can't or you're allowed to break whatever rules or laws it, it does mean i can break the rules okay, well, i have to follow the law and again mr doe because that's how i know you is mr doe i'm not trying to you can just call me sir i mean well, sir then if you refuse to you know abide by the prior trespass and like i told you that's what well, I'm, I'm not i'm not violating the trespass i'm saying the the trespass is null and void I, I, because you you guys you you're violating my rights you continue and if the you, land continues to violate my rights and sir if you feel that way and you step on said property then we have a criminal potentially a criminal issue that we'll have to resolve if he did that would you arrest him or would you send a 707 in and let the state attorney decide Make an arrest because he's not not identifying. So we can't we can't a positive. I can't send a a seven. These guys can't send a seven. Yeah, you have to have an identification. We have to have an, an address, a name, preferably at somebody. Well, I'm saying local. at that point, if he did, um, and, you, and right. you get his ID, and he says, "Here's my ID. Fine. You know what? Here it is. Would you arrest him, or would you send a seven oh seven in as lieutenant? Either, either or either depends. Or. We've been taking a. I'll be honest with you. We've been taking a butt kicking with calls today. Yeah. Um, Last thing. Extremely you guys busy. Do. So, I've got. Two two officers and myself up down These guys here. have been awesome. And, I, I and, came out originally and squeezed yeah, the piggy at them, but they've been and, awesome. And, and, and we've got FPS Thank you guys. on the way. We don't need Perfect. to tie you guys no, I up. Got you. I you got know? you. And I think FPS is who you spoke with last time, I think, yeah. the guy that said, hey, come on back. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to do, if if we're still here, um, I'd like to get with that officer. I don't know if it's going to be the same officer or not, but because, like I said, my understanding was you were invited back to the property by I was. him, that and you voice? actually came back, and, and that at yes, that point that voids, that voids, voids the right for here. You can walk on there right. now; they can't do it because now it becomes they can yeah. tell you to be trespassed again. After well, that's that's right. how that conversation and, and, ended. Right, that's, that's what I'm saying, though, is if you let's say they come back and like, oh no no no, we want all three of these guys trespassed, and you're like, okay, whatever. You you don't ID, you don't ID, you don't ID, but you all leave or, or all, get over here. You're good. That satisfies. You're, you're good. John Doe 1, John Doe 2, and John Doe 3, or whatever we have to, you know, fat Mr. Bob, my other brother Bob. Okay. That's my step daddy. But, cool. <laughs> but that's kind of where we would, we would be at that point in time. Um, we're talking about a bunch of what ifs, for lack of a better term, yeah. I guess. So um, it, it's up to you guys. You're, you're obviously not on the premises right yeah, now. Yeah, and you guys aren't and detained or anything like that. No, absolutely not. Right? Absolutely not. I mean, um, we can't make you ID yourselves. You haven't done anything wrong. You haven't broken any laws. They never asked anybody to leave or trespass? Or nope. No, the security staff here never asked anyone to leave. Because the call, the call says, I want to say the call said something different. So it's third party. It said something about, uh, yeah, guy, I guess whoever called had a, a like 877 area code number. Yeah, it's which, a, that's another toll free okay. line. Yeah. So, um, but and I it said spoke something about staff. they were inside videotaping is what I think the call said. I think that was maybe Here? someone who works in there, but okay. from what I've talked to with security staff, mm -hmm. um, when they haven't we been asked to leave. 
No one's Perfect. been asked to leave. Melty, here, here's a funny one for yes, you. Uh, I do I do public records requests a lot. Okay. I got charged with a crime somewhere in the city here, and then top okay. dropped just like these guys did, like five right. days later. I asked, you know, Marcy's Law. Everybody knows that. Right. I asked for the report, the copy of the report. Got it. I had the social security number of the the uh, for the person who filed the charges against me, and the other witness and the other uh, alleged victim. Mm -hmm. If the city gave that to me, mm -hmm. and there's no nothing that they could have been charged with or anything in their entire, you know, no nothing civilly for giving those people the social security number. Now, if you go to a library and you check out a book, and I walk in there, I say, I want to know what, what's your first name, M. Sampler. Matt. Matt. What did Matt just check out in a book? The librarian mm -hmm. says he just checked out the Constitution. Uh, this. Right. It's a criminal offense for her to tell me that. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Law enforcement has so much protections. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of crazy stuff out there, right? Yeah. I mean, I think we can all agree with that. Yeah. Agree or disagree. I mean, there's, there's some we see it all the time. I'm sure yeah. you guys see things that you feel as crazy as well. Yeah, right? yeah a lot it's of like it's coming out of the land, unfortunately. Us being here, right? I mean, and again, I respect your opinion. So, well, I'm less concerned about you respecting my opinion than respecting my rights. Okay. I, I, I couldn't care less if you respect my opinion. I what I do care about is you respecting my rights. Okay. And that has yet to happen around and, here. And what it was was because he was trespassed for filming just like I was doing. No, he was trespassed because he didn't leave. That's why he was. I was. This whole was conversation to took. Because right. he was recording. Right. Okay. Cool. So now uh, in the federal law on the on the, the poster, right. which I showed these gentlemen, was mm -hmm. there's there's a, a, a space for news purposes, right? Mm -hmm. Except if there's a, a security regulation, a rule, an order, or a directive, right? Right. And if, if, if there's a directive, there's like a directive number, right? Like directive number 657. Okay. Or a rule, there's rule number 825, right? That's how we recognize them, right? They're written down somewhere. It's right. not just somebody saying, hey, there's a rule somewhere right. out in space, right? Mm -hmm. There's a rule. Well, under the photography sign, that's not prohibited, that's prohibited. It, it doesn't give any of that. It doesn't give a... Um, a, a directive or a security regulation right all it does is give the CFR number the that says that I can record for news purposes okay so it's got a sign saying you can't record and you can't record because of this US code and then you look at the US code and it's it says you can record what's the deal you know what what do we what do we go by then should he be trespassed because you know and I know federal law is not your guys's right. wheelhouse Correct. You know, and that's that's FPS, mm -hmm. uh, but even FPS gets it wrong sometimes. But okay. we're work, we're working on it. We're working but on again, it. But again, like I said, we're not here. Like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna do this to, to these gentlemen today, you guys or, are fine. Or, or whatever it may be. Um, we didn't show up here because hey, let's see who's down at the Social Security office. We we showed up because we had a call for service. Right? Oh, absolutely. That's the only reason we came. I, I was surprised that, we because I told her to call FBS. She said she'd call FBS. You no, know, that's what's and, happening. And I was yeah, being and cordial. FBS probably called us. Yeah. More than likely. They're probably in Orlando. Right. That would be. I don't believe they have a local. Yeah, probably a local not. Office because I, I think last time when with you, I think she called the guy in Orlando. I'm pretty sure. True. And. Because yeah, you, you had already left by the time, because mm -hmm. he was supposed to be coming, but I don't think he ever right. got here by the time, because I had left too. Yeah, we um, he came the next day. You're right, yeah. Yeah. I think that's when he said, yeah. hey, come on back, or, or something. That's when yeah, I met off to watch. Yeah, quick, and I told, I, I told, uh, I can uh, go into the foyer right there in the front, and the security guard will come out, and I'll ask her if she thinks they're close or whatnot, because. Yeah. I mean, I've got a cell phone, but I mean, maybe, uh, maybe if I give you a cell phone, you could call him, maybe he's more apt to answer you. You could just yeah, say, hey, this is Lieutenant call, Whittier we, with, yeah, you know. Yeah, just say, you know, are you close? Because if not, we'll take yeah. off. We don't want to waste your time. Well, I, I don't want to waste my time. And we were talking and, about and, homeless. And we can contact mm -hmm. him. Right. Some other day, or meet them up here. This is some a, other day. The second topic that might be good for you guys as well, like Daytona and Port Orange, has paid out a lot of money for homeless arrests. Okay. Uh, with panhandling. Okay. Ninety thousand to one the other day, one hundred and twenty to another one, um, and it's all because of you know this says this aggressive panhandling. Like right. I say, hey man, I see you got money. You get the number. Four zero four. Yeah. Six nine four. But there's people like seven six me. five three. And another you have a name for him. Uh, Fariz Muhammad. The homeless vet. Muhammad. Yeah. We get trespassed. He gets arrested. And um, here I'll put it on speaker. How's but that? these different Appreciate places that. are getting they're getting sued for this, and it doesn't come out of the taxpayers' money. It comes out of yeah. insurance, which indirectly in comes. Are out. the now let me ask you because you may know this. I do not because I don't read Port Oranges or it's the same know, one you guys got. It's the same, same attorney did them all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So similar panhandling is yeah. city ordinance. Yeah. St. Augustine has it. Uh, Daytona Beach had it. They all wrote the same one. Okay. Which
which they should have just taken the, the, the ordinance from there and just adopted it instead. But this attorney is like, I'll fight these for you and make sure we get it, but they're loose. Eviction check from on with the Federal Protective Service. Going to voicemail that. And so, I, like the guy that you know, happen to know what he drives? A, by he chance? Homeland oh, Security, you know, uh, yeah, vehicle. I don't know if you guys I got you. Not have, but he had his car yeah. with all the tools stolen. There's no, need, there's no need to wait around. and see if they know no. how far away this FPS okay. rep is, please. So, yeah, but the whole thing, just like... I mean, it's, it, homeless people can be a nuisance. Everybody knows that, but we're all people and are humans. And that's where the guy that got arrested was Naked Cowboy. You've seen him before? Right. He's out there holding yeah. the film, and someone yeah. put money in stops, and these two cops arrested him for it. And I was like, whoa, he got 90 grand. And the other one was another guy that got 120 for, so he had to spend the time in jail for like, I don't know, like it was like seven days he was out there. But we've already told the city manager and uh, another lieutenant, I don't remember his name, I was at the station. We were. Uh, it starts on M. Yeah, Mathis, we, Mathis, I think. Mathis, okay. Okay. Yeah, we were just up there, but we're, there's going to be people come out to test the panhandling laws, right. you know, and make sure that, uh, when, you know, like you said, we understand aggressive, but if somebody's just standing there with a sign or maybe even saying, hey, you know, give me a buck, you know. Or, Those guys are a wealth of information, too. I don't know if you homeless people are. You walk up to them, hey, man, you get a rapport with them guys. They will tell you everything. They see everything that's going on. That's what happened with Brian Smith. He was telling me that he saw a hit and run. Yeah, I remember the last three of the tag, and I was like, well, shoot, Port Orange, you'll be able to get that partial. They put a partial right. in there, what kind of car it was. Sure enough, he, he catches that. And, um, I mean, that's that's it. I know people look down on homeless people, but you and me, and you're, you're married. You married? Yes, I am. You know how quick you are from being homeless? One lawsuit, Absolutely. your wife leaving you. <laughs> Absolutely. You're getting fired at your job, and then you're like, hey, man, can I stay at someone's house? Mm -hmm. That's that's all it takes. It's three steps, and we're all <laughs> Just, homeless. Sad. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah. It's a sad state of affairs, dude. Very, very accurate, very accurate description. I mean, yeah, that's it. You sure. know, everybody knows the wives, and they see when they're mad. They're you're mad. two divorces away from dying poor. <laughs> I mean, most people recover, but that's well, all it my, takes. Uh, my brother always says that marriages can sometimes be like a tornado or a hurricane, right? That's it. Everything's all nice and great till that hurricane hits. You do and something stupid with your house, your car, and everything else. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then, and that's yeah, that's exactly it. But that's why I say with homeless people, there's some mentally ill people that are definitely there. There's some criminals that are there, uh, and and you may have seen. It. There's a, a guy was up here. He's telling us his truck got broken into, and he followed a trail to the homeless camp. And this guy stole all his tools out of his right. truck, and, and you know he, he got everything. But there are people like that. But then there are simple. Well, people they're not like, all that way though. No. I mean, it's just like anything else. Just like. You know, any group of people, you it, it's, my personal opinion, it's not good to paint them with a broad brush because yep. then you, you, everybody's that way and it's not true. That's right. You sweep everybody up under one broom and then you can't distinguish good from the bad anymore. Absolutely. Yes, and it's so bad. Once you sign that 707, if they if they have money, then, it, you know, it's it's 1500 to $2,500 just to fight a misdemeanor and five grand for a felony. And it's just one of those things. That's why I was asking about it. if you walked on there, what would you do? I just, you know, I'm curious about your mentality. I, yeah, my, my mentality, like I said, the, my big dilemma with it is because we, because it's not our, our gig. Um, we got called that, that day when, when you were here. And, um, you know, of course, the, you know, videotaping, whatever. Hey, it's not within our, our, our protocol or policies to, to allow this. Okay. And the security officer here at the time got on the phone with the I guess the gentleman from FPS who says yeah we want him trespassed okay hey you're now being trespassed again didn't force him to give ID he, he declined respectfully That's cool. and said okay hey from this point forward if you come back within 365 days you're subject to arrest filled it out as a John Doe do you have a trespass appeal hearing that you guys do here you can um, but it's basically I want to say it's within 10 days of getting issued the trespass warning mm -hmm. and you basically have to come down to the police department and say hey I got this and I want to contest it and you basically go in front of the chief and then the chief says hey tell me you know while I was sitting there waiting for my wife to get off of work I was angry and security guard came up and I told him hey I'm waiting for my wife he said well you can't be here and I said well whatever you yeah you know Custom Given circumstances. Well, so do you have to say those specific words? Because I met with uh, the IA investigator within those 10 days, and this obviously was my... Lieutenant Malone? Uh, his subordinate, Julian. Uh, should have been Vasquez? Vasquez. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, I'm Lewis. sorry. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis Vasquez. Yep. Um, so, I mean, I, uh, you know, I, I said... I didn't say those words, but, I mean, I was there... No, I got you. Did, and, and again, pardon my... You know, not knowing because I wasn't in in that meeting. I guess that you yeah, you it's asked online. For. 
Okay. Um, so that's news to me. It's the first I'm hearing about that. I don't know what kind of verbiage you would have to use. It's basically up to, they issue, they ask us to issue you trespass. We issue it on their behalf or whoever's behalf. We fill out the paperwork, they get a copy, pay, you're trespassed, good valid for 365 days, we come back, you're subject to arrest. Okay, pretty pretty common wording or verbiage to use, okay? Um, if you're invited back, such as you were, that basically becomes null and void. So at that point, if said FPS agent or gentleman or whoever it is, officer comes out here today and says, hey, no, where you're at right they can't trespass you from here you're on their property yes they can which is why i'm here right so, absolutely and i figured that i was like okay he's across the street i'm like all right cool so I mean, as, as so, devil's advocate why can't you trespass him from here you being a city employee and this is a city right away why can't you just trespass him from here because he's here near this place again why would we trespass you from there you're not doing anything wrong and he wasn't doing anything wrong inside and again that's what i get but but he, and, and and you're sitting here and you're crumbling up pieces of paper throwing them in the air okay you got maybe littering if you don't pick it up right so at that point if officer ride out came out and said hey you know look man i'm not going to give you a ticket but i'm, I'm going to trespass you from wherever yeah. the, this this park bench or whatever it may be this public yeah. park yeah public park okay then for violating a, for making a criminal for offense something like that littering right? is yeah littering would be a ordinance so, for criminal offense yeah. But, but do you see where I'm getting at? Just like the, the trespassing, agree with it or disagree? Yeah, no, but you just mentioned a crime being a reason for the trespass. Right. Yeah. But, so but in this yeah, case, right. there is no crime. Okay. Well, would you know. admit that at least? I'm not going to admit anything. Uh -huh. So what, what I'm telling you I think you because is, is I think they told him their yeah, policy, yeah. their law. Yeah, yeah misleading was, the law enforcement. Right. So oh, they so were... They called so y'all just waste your time out here. I, I knew that's what they do it, but she, yeah, we yeah. asked her too. We said, how long is it going to be? She's like, well, it's going to be an hour. I don't know. You can right. hang out and wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take it up with them again, and I'm not trespassing. So I'll, I'll make a, a visit with them again, and I love to visit. You know, I bring tea and sometimes candy, and we have a good old time. And L Lieutenant Hughes, did he get her hair cut? He looked like a cockatiel for a while. <laughs> he did. So I, that's the last time I saw him. He was violating everybody's rights out there at the, at the uh, where was that, at the fairgrounds when they had a shooting out there to have a truck meet. There was a big old to-do. Yeah, he was stopping everybody. Yeah, stopping everybody and getting okay. numbers. He wasn't particularly, but he just agreed with it. He was right, like, well, well, thanks for coming out. No problem. No problem. You guys have a good day. You guys enjoy I know he's upset. Day. I appreciate you. These guys have yeah, been no really problem. good and awesome. awesome. They, Perfect. Nice. Thanks. They wouldn't squeeze the pig. Now I regret asking him to squeeze the pig because I only do that to people that violate people's rights. Understood. The other guy, that sergeant, what's his name, Ruiz? Rios. 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 If I see him, yes, I'll see if he'll squeeze it. Okay. Uh, this is the Port Orange piggy right here because I don't know you know. Port Orange is a criminal enterprise. Okay. That's what they do there. They're, they're criminals, all of them, every one of them. Not for you guys. That's for Port Arms. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate your gentleman's time and and. Uh, so I, I gotta. I mean, you're standing here, so sure, I, you know, absolutely. I should ask. You know, I, I watched the uh, I watched the body cam from the uh, the Stevens and uh, I can't remember Wayne's last name. The two gentlemen that were arrested. Yeah, you met him in the Sally Port and you had a conversation with both of them, and you said that you were going to review the body camera. Um, I, I assume that you did review the body camera, did you? So did did you did you was that was that how you would want your subordinate to handle something like that? Well, when. My understanding from what I remember the body cam review was that um, it was they had been asked awesome, to leave. Right? Majorly awesome. Both, both gentlemen had been asked to leave. They said, hey, uh, I think one had said he had an issue and he needed a, a beard mask because yeah, he didn't have a mask. Right. So he couldn't wear whatever mask they were going to provide him with. Uh, the other one, I don't remember why he... Good lung cancer. Lung cancer. cancer. Okay. So, um, but there was there was some reasoning for neither one of them wanting to or being able to wear a mask. Um, it was explained to them that hey, we're not enforcing a mask issue. We are enforcing them telling you you need to leave and you basically refusing. Um, at that point, I think they were asked at least twice by the officers, hey, are you going to leave or you or not? And there was some, I won't say back and forth, but there was some. 
some delay or something. I mean, I think kind of like when 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 we met. I mean, we had this long conversation to try to get to an understanding, right? And I think that that's maybe those men couldn't do it as articulately as I did because they're they're not out here doing something like this. This this isn't their purpose to to make sure that their rights are respected. So, you know, I, I just you know I look at that and I say. You know, where's the de-escalation? I mean, where's the de-escalation training in the land? I mean, why do we need to escalate everything to to the point of arrest? I, I don't, and I'm sure that everything isn't risen to that, but but the events that I'm looking at are, and they, they seem like they're ridiculously uh, escalated to this, when the officer could have said, sir, let's just continue this conversation off the property. You know, that doesn't that seem like a, a reasonable accommodation? Because they just wanted paperwork. So they could go and say, you know, I couldn't couldn't take care of this because of this, you know? I mean, do you, do you think that's unreasonable? I'm not going to answer that because that's asking for an opinion, and I'm not going to give you an opinion. Like I told you the first time. We yeah, it's, it's troubling, though. And I understand, Lieutenant, I understand what you're trying to do, and I, do look, I don't I, what, it, but I, Lieutenant, I what I'm trying to do is make sure that people's rights are respected. And, that's it. And so are we. That's part of our, our gig, too. So I wish it was more part of your gig. Again, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, just just like just like one of the questions that I asked you, I asked you if you if you swore an oath and you you told me I'm not going to give you my opinion. Well, sir, that's not your opinion. We both know you swore an oath, right? I've got it on recording that you swore an oath. Right. You know what I mean? So to get you to admit that you swore an oath, it doesn't seem like that big of a stretch. And again, like I told you, and I know you guys are going to do whatever you, you you do or use use to your your uh, benefit, for lack of a better term, I guess. Well, well see, but that's an opinion right there True. you just True. gave me an opinion True. but Absolutely. you just told me that you don't give opinions I'm but you don't like you don't like what i'm doing you're, that's got nothing to do with it but so, I lieutenant you're lieutenant you say you won't opinionate and, and then right. you then you proceed to opinionate yeah, no, I, I mean, I was do you see the the, the disconnect there and again you're opinionating as well i'm allowed to opinionate so so am i Okay, then if you're so then what you're I don't have to. Yeah, so what you really want to say is you don't want to answer my questions because they're going to incriminate me. I'm not going to entertain the question. If you ask me, hey, it's a shame that we can't talk about constitutional like, like I, like rights. I told you the first time, or you know, not the first time. That was however many weeks ago now. When I came up to you and I explained to you about the trespass warning, I said, you know, I'd rather the FPS gentleman be here. You know, He's because my understanding was, was that the rights violation that happens with the masks, you were trespassed, the tools and stuff you like were invited back to said property, mm -hmm. you came back, things did or didn't work out, whatever, and then you left. So that trespass warning, in my mind, in my opinion, my book is no and void. Okay? And I told you that, correct? Today you did, yes. Right, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because you weren't here. You're not out here every day. You may be, but I don't know that. Okay, I'm not out here waiting for, where's he at, where's he at, let me go get him. That's not what I'm about. Okay, yeah. you're entitled to, to do whatever you feel is right, as long as it's within the law. I don't have a problem. Well, and that's the thing, everything that I, everything that I did in this building was within the law. And again, we're not going to enforce their, their... But you uh, enforce the trespass. Well, by, by, by enforcing the trespass, you are enforcing it. And, and that's your opinion? It is my opinion, but to, to fail to even see how it logically follows. I, and again, like I said before, and, and as well as today, you're entitled to your opinion. See, you, I think that you've gotten, and maybe, please correct me if I'm wrong, I've got this opinion that you have the opinion that I'm out here to make police look bad, and I'm not out here to make police look bad. I want our constitutional rights respected. Our constitution is under assault, and unfortunately, it's under assault by the people that are supposed to protect it. Okay. And again, your opinion. Take a picture so, of my wife. Indeed. My girlfriend's but you're not refuting it. <laughs> I'm not going to get into a debate with you. I told you that the other day. When yeah, I yeah, but I don't know that we're debating. I'm just saying... I, I'm just saying you have an opportunity to refute this, and, and you're saying, well, I can't opinionate when five minutes ago you could opinionate. I am not going to give you... I'm not trying to catch you, Lieutenant. I'm not. You think I'm out here for some, for some reason that I'm not out here for. Got it. You know, I wish, I, wish that, I wish that you could look at things a little more clearly.
Okay. But you, you have an opinion about what I'm doing. <laughs> and unfortunately, I think you're wrong. Okay. And, and I respect your opinion. Just yeah. That I'm wrong. Got, I, you Thank you. Ever been to Lego? Well, I, I don't even, I don't know because you, you, all I have to go on like is what you're telling me. Okay. Fair, Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like that. But that's kind of where we're, we're going to leave this. Citizen. At this point in time, anyway. Until, until we meet again. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. so the the First Amendment of the Constitution it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Do you know what those freedoms are? Do you know what those freedoms are? I'm not going to. You've said more words. You've said more words than it would have taken to answer the question. It is. It is. I'm not going to entertain this. No, it's unfortunate. I hope this this will be. I'll leave you. I'll leave you. Okay. I'll leave you with this. I hope at the very least at the very least, that you take, you take this idea to your subordinates and you at least tell them that this is important, that the people's rights are important, and it's important that we know these rights because we're out here. Okay. We're the guys out here supposed to be protecting them. And that's what we do. So whether you believe well, it or Well, we asked about training today at the, at the police station, and okay. he didn't have a clue last time. First Amendment training? training. Training, yes. Training. That's what Who we're talking about right now. Training. Who did you, who did you, did you speak with? Is it Milan? No, Lieutenant Milan's over internal affairs. Uh, 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 James, what was what was what was the officer's name that we were talking to the lieutenant in behind the? Mathis. 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 Lieutenant Mathis is basically his. So. Yeah. 51 or 41 are going to be in route. So, right, take care of this. So, we got another call coming. Sorry, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. We've so, held you out here a long time. Thanks, no, Lieutenant. No I know good. he's probably no a little bit more upset. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Be safe, okay? Yeah. Thank you.